Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to use Breakdance's global button settings. You'll find the global button settings in the dot 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 menu under global settings, and then buttons. And here, we can set up global styles that will apply to all of the primary and secondary buttons on our website. Now, so we can see what these settings actually do, I'm going to add two buttons to the page. We'll go to add, let's find button, let's duplicate this, and for the first button, I'll go to the design tab, and under button, I'll set the style to primary. And by default, it's primary. And for the second button, I'll go to button, go to the design tab, and under button, I'll set the style to secondary. Now, let's create our global button styles, and we'll be able to see what we're actually doing, because these two buttons will change how they look. So let's go to primary, and under size, we can customize the size of the buttons. Let's go with a large button. Let's do the same for the secondary button. So we'll go to secondary size and choose a large button. Maybe we want to use a different color. So for the primary button, we could choose background. We could go over to uh, here and we could make it purple. And then on hover, we could make it a uh, lighter purple. There we go. Now I set up a hover style. For the secondary button, we want it to be an outline button. Maybe we want a slightly wider outline. Maybe we want the color to be uh, purple as well. And there we go. We have our secondary button and our primary button. Maybe we want no fill on hover for that secondary button. So we'll just enable no fill on hover. Let's say we want to customize the typography of the buttons. We can go into typography and let's choose, uh, let's make the font a little bit bigger. Let's go with uh, 20 pixels. Let's go with Brie Serif. And let's do the same for the secondary button. So let's go secondary, typography, uh, 20 pixels, and Brie Serif. And there we go. Those look pretty good. Uh, let's make these buttons round. So we can go corners round. We go custom radius. Maybe we want a... Uh, 6 pixel radius or 12 pixel radius. We're going to do the same for the primary button. Custom corners, 12 pixel radius. Maybe we want these buttons to expand on hover. So we can go to primary, go to effects, and let's go scale on hover. Let's put a 1.2. And there we go. It scales up on hover. Let's do the same for secondary effects. Scale on hover 1.2. And uh, there we go. And these settings are going to apply to all of the buttons on our site. So let's say we added a form. So let's go to the Add panel and go to Form. This form is going to have a button. And as you can see, that form has the same styles as our uh, other primary button. It's going to apply to WooCommerce. It's going to apply to anywhere where Breakdance buttons are used. Okay, that is how to use the global button settings in Breakdance.